that is 18 karat rose gold and silver. And I don't know if the diamond is real or not. So that is a nice find right there. Good morning everybody headed back out to the lakes today it's the day after Memorial Day I didn't get a chance to go out on Memorial Day because in my area it's just raining too much and thunderstorms are coming in and out and there just wasn't anybody out in the lakes but uh, yesterday uh, it, it kind of cleared up a little bit you know so some people probably got out to the lakes a little bit and uh, a little bit today so I'm gonna go hit them today I've got about three lakes I'm gonna hit Seems like right now, the way things are in my area, it's gonna take three, four lakes before you can get enough stuff to really make a quality video. And so we're gonna go out, we're gonna to plan to hit at least three lakes today. Uh, one I've hit before, I got two rings off of and that silver bullet necklace, and uh, but two lakes I haven't hit uh, already uh, this year, so it'll be my first time. So I don't know what to expect on those as well. They're all kind of smaller lakes, and um, but, it seems like there's always a good amount of traffic on the lake so hopefully i'll find something if i do i definitely turn the camera on and show it to you so meanwhile i got about a 35 40 minute drive so just sit back and relax and i'll see you out in the water got out here to the lake and as you can see there is somebody else out in the lake today so that's good maybe i know them i don't know i'll meet them here in a minute all right we're going to get in the water see what we find let's go have some fun well there's nothing at that other lake uh, met that other detectorist out there it's actually a guy that I actually have met before and uh, and so he he found a couple of things and uh, but there's just no rings out there so I'll move down here to uh, you can see behind me to another lake that I haven't tried this year and uh, so we're gonna spend about an hour here and then I've got one more I'm gonna do and then see how I feel I may go into the lake where I found a couple of rings last week and so uh, so let's go see what we find all right let's go have some fun yeah this is what I was worried about there's not a lot of people in the lakes this is my third lake and all I've gotten is a quarter a couple of dimes and a nickel and so I'm gonna try this lake and I may try one more before I go in and uh, but that's that's the way it is it's just gonna be a little little bit so we'll just have to see what we come up with so let's get out nothing but an earring so far and I was on my way back out because there's nothing here and I, and I came across this real choppy 82 signal and you can see that that is 18 karat rose gold and silver and I don't know if the diamond is real or not so that is a nice find right there that is a nice find I think it said 18 karat and uh, rose gold and, and silver that is a good ring right there, my friend. All right, that gives me hope to stay in here a little bit longer. All right, let's keep going. I'm headed over here down to the private lake, and uh, hopefully there might be something out here. If not, I'm gonna take about an hour drive and go to another lake uh, for this afternoon, this evening. So, wish me luck. Let's go see. Well, 
no luck on this one. Just a penny. We'll keep moving on. All right, this is where we're now at the third lake. We're going to try it here. I've got three swimming areas on this lake. So I'm going to make my way around it, make it back home, and hit one more lake before I get to the house. So let's go see what we can get here. Well, I've been out in the lake about 10 minutes. My first uh, ring, it was ringing up a 65, and uh, it's got some type of aquamarine stone in it. Looks pretty good. I don't know the markings on it yet. I'll have to look it up later on. And uh, But I like those odd numbers, 65s and 85s. A lot of times that's gonna be rings and stuff like that. Hey, that's a good start. Uh, we'll keep on going here. A little rough today, uh, but that's my first one in this area. So uh, I'll look up the markings on a little bit later and see what it is. All right, let's keep going. Well, I got my second target about 10 minutes after I got that first ring. I got a nice uh, silver ring here. It's a uh, arrow, bent over arrow. Uh, it's ringing up like an 81, very erratic, and it's because it's a uh, broken... Uh, rings there, broken uh, lines. Anyway, that's a good find. Let's keep on going. We're going to, one more hole to hit after this. This is my third ring for the trip and second one for today. Both came out of this lake right here, this, this swimming area. So we've got one more to hit and may hit one more lake before I go home tonight. So let's keep on going. swing area is doing pretty good just right after I found that other ring I found another silver ring this ring up like a really 81 like a really erratic signal because it's got some jagged edges on it. it looks like a feather and so that's really cool that's my third ring fourth for the trip third one in this swimming area so let's keep on going well, this swimming area keeps producing I just found uh, a set of praying hands that's a preacher digger special right there. A cross and some praying hands. All right, I'm going to go back and look for the necklace now. So let's keep on going. Hello, hello. Somebody lost their phone. I may try to see, I've got a key to open these up to see if there's a SIM card in it. I may try to open it up and see if it's got a SIM card and I can get some information off of it and see if I can't return it. It's not a real fancy phone, it's just a Samsung, looks like an old model. I don't dig much of these in the lake, but in the rivers we do, but not so much out in the lake. But anyway, it's an interesting find, it rang up like an 82. Alright, let's keep going. Well, I came to this last swimming hole in the lake, and I came here two days ago, didn't get anything. And I was driving by up on the road there, and I said, I'm going to try this one more time. And uh, and I'm glad I did. Ended up getting a silver ring. Ring it up as an 80. It's definitely got some writing on it. Got some uh, stones in it. But uh, ringing up really good. Hey, that's uh, ring number five for this trip. So maybe there's some more out here. So I'm going to continue on to look. Well, it wouldn't 
be official if the preacher digger didn't get his cross. I got my cross. This is ringing up like an 8081. It's got some type of copper symbol on the front. Some lady. On the back, it's got a cross. Hang up good. I was looking for the chain, but I couldn't find it. All right, let's keep going. It's really crowded out here in the lake, and I went to where I found that last ring. I went, I went to a couple more swimming areas, and then I went to another lake, and it was so crowded. I found a near ring, went to another lake, and it was so crowded I just left. And now I came out to this one. It's close to my house, and uh, I'm gonna work on this one a little while and see what I can get. Once everybody leaves, I'll get up to the shallows. Well, I made it in from the lakes. I've been going out several trips this week, uh, different days, and hitting two. I think I did three or four lakes. I don't know. I, I, I lose count. About five or six different swimming areas. But I didn't have as good as a week as my opening week last week, but I did have a good week, though, this week. So let me flip you around. Let me show you what I got this time. All right, here's all the trash. We got our, our typical aluminum cans. Man, what is that doing in a swimming area? I don't know. Uh, all these bottle caps, aluminum caps. Got the square tabs and little beaver tabs. We've got a pair of glasses and a frame of some glasses. And I'll tell you what, I've been digging more and more of these. Blue rags, we got grape, pomegranate ice, watermelon, and strawberry kiwi. And then we got just a vape pen. All these are jewels. I guess the young kids are smoking these things. I don't know. I don't know what they are. But got another toy car. Got a key. Uh, some type of whistle. Uh, it's got some writing on the sides, like Chinese writing. I don't know. And uh, got a phone. No SIM card in it. I took the back of it off. and No SIM card, so no pictures or nothing to return it. It's, it looks like an old one anyway. We got uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 pennies. We got six nickels. And we got two, four, six, eight dimes. And then we got four, eight, 12, 14 quarters. And then here's my good treasures. I got two necklaces. I got some praying hands. That's a preacher digger special. And I got my cross. I always like trying to get at least one cross on every hunt. And I don't know what this is. It says 1914 with a W with a crown but if you can flip it over it's got looks like some lady surfing or something like that i don't know looks like i don't i don't know rang up really good like uh, 80 or 80, 81 um these are not silver they were ringing up in the 50s real erratic but they may could be i don't they don't look silver there's no markings on them got a couple of earrings got the punisher in there and uh then here are my rings uh, I don't know what kind of ring this is. It rang up a 81, and it's got six different names and six different stones in it. I'm thinking it may be like a mother's ring with her children or a grandmother and the grandchildren's ring. Um, it's silver, and uh, but uh, I know that whoever had lost that, I know that she's probably, it's really very sentimental. She probably, no way, there's no markings on the inside to, to know how to give it back. Got an aquamarine silver ring. That's been in the lake for some time. And then I think these two rings, I found these just feet apart. I think it's probably off the same finger of the same girl. They're, they're two James Avery's. This is called the Delicate Feather. And this one is called the, oh, the Arrow Heart or, or, or in Shot Through the Heart Love. I don't know, something like that. It's James Avery. That's a nice ring, though. I like it. But I think uh, the best ring is going to be this one. You can't really tell on camera, but you can tell it looks like it's rose gold and silver. But the diamond is not real. And so uh, it's pretty big. It fits my finger. And but pretty nice ring there. And so there are... Got five rings. I hunted real hard today to get a six one to tie last week, but I couldn't do it. And so there's the trash. And here's all the treasures. And like I always tell you, my friends, the greatest treasure is not what you can dig up out of a lake and put on the back of the tailgate. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say God bless you and happy hunting.